Hello. Uh, James Ransom here. Just uh, giving you the one-time intro for what will be the test pilot for uh, my new podcast, which I'm on the fence about calling it something generic, like on the record, but I was just talking with some work associates and it might make more sense if we call this, are you sure you want to do this with James Ransom? So anyway, uh, I interviewed Las Damas, which is a woman's support group here in Sunset Beach. And primarily they wanted to pitch the fireman's ball. At least that's what it used to be called before Huntington Beach came in annex sunset beach and turned it into just the firehouse ball because they don't have firemen anymore they use huntington's so i hope you enjoy it uh there's no video i didn't use my phone and the camera i was using decided just to stop pretty quickly like almost immediately and so i'm just going to put up a still picture bear with us some useful information and this is a really fun event i've been there i've done it and uh, I would suggest listening to the details. And if you're not doing anything Saturday night, this is the place to be. I know that sounds crazy. Like, really, Sunset Beach, this is the place to be? Yes, 100%, absolutely. So hope you enjoy. And um, by next week, we should have things rolling a little bit better with video. So I apologize for this one. But I want to get it out because the fireman firehouse ball is this Saturday, uh, November 10th, I believe. So... Anyway, hope you enjoy. All right, so do you ladies just want to introduce yourself real quick? And... Sure. My name is Gail Winnett. I'm Holly Schlingy. Francis Small. Thank you, and um, you guys are obviously in here to talk about the Fireman's Ball held in Sunset Beach, California. Firehouse Ball. Firehouse Ball. We Sorry. lost our firemen a few years ago. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too sad. That's what it used to be called though, right? Correct. For a long time. I remember that was the first time I went, I think it was about six or seven years ago, and you guys did a casino night. And <laughs> the casino again. It is awesome. That was a really good idea. I had a blast. <laughs> so I'll, I'll kind of let you take the lead if you want to just tell us a little bit about the history of how you guys got started and Thank you. where you came yes. from. Yes. Las Damas was started in 1948 by uh, a small group of women who decided they wanted to pursue doing things for uh, education and social activities. And within that very first year and beginning of the next year, they put on a uh, firehouse ball and they put on an art festival, okay. which through all these years have been our main fundraisers. Okay, yeah, I didn't know the, the art festival, that same one that you guys hold in the Oh, yes, ball. our art festival I never knew that was a fundraiser. It's every Mother's Day weekend. Oh, I try to make it down here. It's like the last second Mother's Day present place to go. That's our big <laughs> fundraiser. That's the big fundraiser. It's where we get our scholarship money and the money we give to our local schools. So how do you make money off that? I always just Selling the booth space. Scholarship. I've been in charge of the booth for a few years now, and we try to get close to about 150 different artists all handmade, uh, beautiful artwork that we put down the green belt yeah. there, and um, everybody is invited to come. Now, is that the same thing as the chili cook-off? That's also in Sunset Beach. That's the Sunset Beach Women's Club. Okay, separate. so just put, put on by a, a separate... Yes, mm -hmm. the older women. Those are the ladies who lunch. We're the <laughs> okay. working women. Okay, I see. <laughs> But we That's have interesting yeah. things at the art festival, which we could talk about for a minute and then go into the yeah, firehouse ball. Yeah, we have uh, the streets closed off and we have uh, beer and wine in our patio. We have a children's booth specially made for children can make presents for their mother for Mother's Day or grandmother. And we have food and then um, bands, different bands all day. Local bands. Local bands, <laughs> local bands, a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, a lot of, uh, lot of party. Yeah, I was <laughs> Plus all these beautiful art that the people have that uh, are custom made. Uh, everything from clothes, furniture, jewelry, um, accessories. It's just, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. I remember I've gone down there a few times. <laughs> like we I said, last second gifts for mom. I'll always find something that's. And it's, it's cool because it's custom. Yes, yes. It's not like you're just running out to Target or somewhere and getting her something that she can pick and up on her own. Parking has been our main problem, but we now have it 
kind of solved. We have a shuttle bus from Huntington Beach. They're glad, nicely giving us the bus to use. And we have two areas to park, one at kind of near here and then one at the uh, beginning of Sunset Beach. Okay. So it makes it a lot easier for people to come. Gotcha. Now we can talk about the Fireman's Ball. I know people are going to want to know. Firehouse Ball. You said you serve beer and wine at the Art Festival. Yes, is yes. that located where the fire station is? Yes, okay. yes, in the patio that's, there, that, yes. That's, that's, sure, that's going to be everyone's number one question. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Where's yes. the wine? 12th Street is closed <laughs> off. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we have food and, and the kids' booth there. and uh, Fireman's Ball. Fireman's Ball. We're not closing off the street for the Fireman's Ball. This is for the Art Festival, right? For, yeah, he, he said, said, he said Art Festival. Oh, okay. Festival. <laughs> It's the wine talking. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. So five. Okay, we got twenty-four minutes until five o'clock. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> wine all around. So the firehouse ball. When was that name change? Oh, boy, about five years ago. Yes, yeah. it was. Well, it was changed. Tell them when, oh, they, no. when they took our firemen away from us. <laughs> Huntington Beach came in and decided... So this was during that annex yes, time period? And then we had our pay call firefighters, who we loved, yeah. Station 3, and Huntington Beach came in, and since we have a fire station right on the corner of Coast Highway and, and Warner right Avenue, there. we they didn't need us anymore. Oh, no. Or them. And so um, we were offered to purchase the firehouse after the firemen left and a group of citizens in Sunset Beach got together and raised money and we still didn't have enough money and we ended up getting a very large benefactor out of the Nobles family, a local Sunset Beach family who How cool. sponsor a lot of our events and they're just wonderful, wonderful neighbors. And um, that's how we ended up with and our... They, they bridged the gap and you guys were did. able to purchase the fire station? Yeah, they made it happen. That's but, so cool. But some of the problems are once we got it going and purchased it, then we found out it was not earthquake proof. We had to raise money. And that was where oh. our fundraisers shifted over a little bit yeah. from fireman's ball where we got food for the firemen to firehouse ball trying to make sure that we could continue to make it a community center yeah. just keep the lights on and yeah. fix it up we had to when she says retrofit we had to um, repipe I mean everything it, it's it's a whole new building wow. and it's beautiful and we rent it out okay so, so for like parties for and stuff parties like that? and events what, weddings what is yeah. it mainly used for now that the firemen well, are gone Los Thomas uses it we are we we utilize it more than anybody else we host all our meetings there we have our events there firemen's mall now and the art festival we use it as a gallery okay. during the festival um, but um, well, and the, the Sunset Beach Community Association, it, we have a board, and they run, and they upkeep, they, they organize the upkeep of the firehouse now. And it's basically the heart of our community. It's kind of the glue that holds our Sunset Beach mm -hmm. together. And so we have all of our local events there. Anyone in the community can rent it out and use it for their private events also. Um, there's a charge for that. But it all goes back into just maintaining and preserving this historic part of our community. Right. Okay. And how many years now is this going to be going on for shifting back to the, the firehouse ball? It's our 69th firehouse oh ball. Oh my gosh. Right? <laughs> That's so crazy. So exciting. That's awesome. And how much do tickets run for the event? dollars well, It's a suggested donation okay. because we're a nonprofit. I got gotcha. you. And they are tax deductible. Let her talk about it. And the $25 just gets you in the door, and you have we have live dancing by the Roadkill Kings, um, playing country, rockabilly, and just really fun dance music all night long. We have line dance lessons. We're going to have um, local craft beer by Rip Brewery, which is right there in Sunset Beach now. And we have Second year. Yeah. And, um, Happy about that. <laughs> another local... Um, family-owned restaurant in Sunset Beach called Ohana's Kitchen is providing comfort food and we'll have a full casino with um, several tables for you to, to win raffle prizes. We have a full silent auction with a lot of local businesses have contributed to so we have some really great prizes 
and we even have a photo booth that you can take a picture on horseback and um, <laughs> imaginary to, horse yeah imaginary horseback for um so, so you can remember this fabulous evening and it's going to be an indoor outdoor event we're going to use the inside of the fire firehouse as well as the outside area so it'll be dancing under the stars Gambling and inside. Gambling is inside. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll just be a lot of fun. And you just, you'll get to see all the your neighbors as well as meet new people. And we just hope the whole surrounding community will join us. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hope to be there for sure. I, I don't think my wife came with me the last time. You I need think to bring it was, her this time. I need to bring her. It was a lot She'll of fun. She'll have fun. Yeah, she will. And with her two and her three-year-old, she needs to get, get, out, get out as much as possible. She does. <laughs> okay. Was there anything else you wanted to add about the Firehouse Ball? Um, maybe name an address about where it's going to be held this year? 12th Street and Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah, the, the actual um, address, if you're going to Uber over or Lyft, which is a great idea, yeah. that way you don't have to worry about parking. I highly suggest that. And driving the home. <laughs> so the address is 16861 12th Street in Sunset Beach. and. As we mentioned, all the proceeds, 100%, go back into preserving the historic firehouse and community center. And uh, along with our other charities that we support during the year, this is our one that really focuses on the, um, the firehouse. The, the art festival contributes to our scholarships and local art programs schools. in schools and, um, charities. and charities in the community. So we, we all of it kind of goes together as far as our whole mission to reach out to the community as far as education, arts, and, um, and just supporting the firehouse. So it's, it's a great event and it's for a great cause. And it, you know, you know, it's only $25 to get in the door for a really fun evening. With a really great group of people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if anybody is interested in joining Las Damas, uh, we have 75 members. And, uh, and certainly on our, our um, website website is, is phone numbers and addresses. And what's the website? Do people want to look this up? Lasdamas.org? Uh, yes. Lasdamasofsunsetbeach.org. And, and that's also like, there's another. Like the dames, right? Yeah, there's another okay. one, uh, sunsetbeachartfestival.net for the applications for vendors for our art festival, okay. which is very interesting. Now, do you have to be an artist, or can you kind of rent one out for any purpose? Well, if you, if you make things, and, like, and you uh, do have to be an artist. I exactly. <laughs> wouldn't be able to sit there and just yeah, no, like, you have can't information just... about real estate or no, anything like no, that. No, no, we cannot. We do not allow any of that. <laughs> so yeah. You don't allow the annoying, annoying people. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a juried art show that people enter, is... and we have a local artist, um, Bill Anderson, who usually helps um, judge that and Carol Wolf. and Carol Wolf that's a local artist that um, are very involved with that and it's a beautiful beautiful event they have some very elegant quite expensive artwork in the gallery and some affordable very, artwork and local <laughs> artwork very much so my daughters that's cool that's yeah. really cool no there's something for everybody okay. so and especially on the Firehouse Ball Night, the 10th. Mm -hmm. Everybody's welcome. You can just move to town. Is that all ages? Or do you have, is it's it 21? 21 and older. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It's an adult event. It's uh, safer that way. <laughs> but it's a fun event. And the after parties are all through town at our <laughs> local establishments. Neptunes, oh. Mothers, Ohana, <laughs> Turks. You mentioned it's Ohana. Is a, that's a local family that owns that? Who, it is the Perconis. Is, is that from the place over on um, Beach and Garfield? There's a place called Ohana Kitchen. Yes. Something along yes, the lines. Yes, it is. They serve really great breakfast food there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So same family. Cool. Well, I hope they do well. So, yeah. yeah they've, they've just opened about two years in Sunset Beach. They took over what used to be Schooner at Sunset. I remember that. And um, they seem to be doing really well. And it's just wonderful having local people with local, you know, a, a really great local restaurant. And they're, and they're very supportive of Las Damas. Yeah. And remind me, what was it called before Schooner and Sunset? Harpoon Harry. Harpoon Harry's. <laughs> yes. That's the one I miss. We've all been yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, Jack with the splash of Coke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, well, thanks again so much. Is there anything else you wanted to share about the upcoming Firehouse Ball? Well, it will be inside, outside, and you can dust off your rhinestones and wear your Western <laughs> attire. Cool. And just be comfortable and um, bring a jacket because it will be in the evening. Awesome. <laughs> Ball gowns and cowboy boots oh, my, are also welcome. My white snake skins. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much. I Thank appreciate you. you all coming this out here. It's a pleasure, James. Thank you. It's so nice speaking with you. And um, yeah, visit lasdamas.com, is it? Or .net? .net is for the art festival information and applications. I'm going to check it out real quick. Just You can find us on Facebook, too, Las Damas of Sunset Beach. Let's see here. Yep. You just type, type in Las Damas Sunset Beach in Google, and you'll have all the contact info. Yeah, it's a yes. Facebook page, um, sunsetbeachca.org, calendar of events, and everything else. So Good. So that's the easiest way. Google it, Las Damas Sunset Beach. Yes. And if you're interested in purchasing tickets, one way to do that is to email lasdamasmembership at gmail.com, and we'll get back to you with tickets. Perfect. Or you can get them at the door. And oh. yes, you We're can buy them at the door. Away. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I get lazy about it, so I'll just show up, make sure I got 25 bucks cash, and call it a day. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thanks again, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys there.